Speaking of feline reflexes, though, I bet my character smells awful. Being stuck in Limsa Laminsa for two weeks straight. Smell like cat girls and toxoplasmosis. Please be advised, the following presentation is not intended for minors. Alright, so... I do not remember what we did last because it has been two weeks. Thanks, Warcraft, for bringing out a terrible fucking uh, Battle Royale mode. Yeah, we haven't done the uh, class quest for Marauder. So I guess we'll start with that first. Oh, right, I even fixed my... Uh, I uh, fixed up my crossbars. I, I found out what was going on. Turns out I accidentally mapped the uh, uh, mapped the wrong uh, crossbar. Because I'm dumb. I was supposed to map uh, right crossbar 2. I ended up uh, mapping left crossbar 2. There have been reports of a sizable creature roaming the outskirts of Aleport in Western Lenoskia. This monster is no uh, Kuchata but the threat it pre uh, presents to the locals is nonetheless sufficient to warrant our attention. It should also prove a worthy foe to test your burgeoning uh, prowess. With Rainfred's assistance, you ought to track down this prowling danger and provide it swift and bloody passage to the afterlife. May your axe swing true. Easy enough. So I suppose you're here to hunt down our local trouble. What you need do then is take yourself northwest up towards Camp Skull Valley and give a good whistle. Alright, go to a place, kill a thing. Got it. Good old MMO combat. <laughs> God, there are so many fucking people here. Hey, I killed the thing for you. Report to Skatfagim. God, these names, man. I swear to God. Uh, where he waits on the bank of the Ageless River. He shall help you unveil the untapped power of your axe. Right, I haven't actually mentioned it, but I'm guessing there's like an Easter thing going on right now. Oh, there's someone pinging me on the Discord. Ah, oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> someone wanted to show me the, uh, uh, the Persona 5X intro, uh, thing, since, you know, playable demo is currently out now in China. I'm not interested. Like, I heard from recent playtests that they straight up just don't have Arcanas anymore, and it's like, then it's not even a Persona game. But yeah, like, uh, Persona without, like, any of the, uh, tarot stuff in it just doesn't feel like Persona. That's so weird. Alright, scat for Gim. Can anyone, like, have any pronounceable names in this goddamn game? Aye, lad. I know why you're here. And, uh, uh, enough to see in this big old boulder. I'd wager you know why you're here, too. Ah, I gotta break boulders again. Alright, fine. Use heavy swing. Wa-bam. Oh my god, I'm so good. Ha, huh, to look at that. And on your first attempt, too. Well, I guess it's back to the Axe Master for you. Thanks for making me waste my time. Speaking of feline reflexes, though, I bet my character smells awful. Being stuck in Limsa Laminsa for two weeks straight. Smell like cat girls and toxoplasmosis. So you sent me out there to hit a rock again? Bro, why? Though we primarily focus on close quarter combat, you'll no doubt find that having a powerful range strike at your disposal greatly expands your tactical versatility. I now have Tomahawk. There we go, my pants finally match my, uh... Like, the rest of my outfit, kind of. So let's use the rogue to hand in the next actual main quest. Hopefully that'll bump me up to 15, then we can do the rogue's uh, level 15 quest. The fuck? Okay, that music kind of came out of nowhere. Is that in game or did I leave a fucking YouTube tab open? No, that's in game. Okay. <laughs> the fuck was that? Okay, I'm so confused. <laughs> Papaya, man, get with it. I played enough, uh, Fire Emblem Engage. I, I've had enough papaya. That's a theme for all holiday events? Oh, okay. I kind of assumed there would be, like, one for each event, not... <laughs> not the one for all of the events. Like, it just comes out of nowhere, so I legitimately thought <laughs> that, like, I left a YouTube tab open and just auto, uh, moved on to the next video. It's the theme of shenanigans. It does sound like a shenanigans kind of song. Alright, so what rogue shenanigans are we going to get up to with this one? Because yeah, so far the rogues guild have 
like, has to be like my favorite story so far. Upon questioning the poor fellow, we, did, uh, we discovered that he had narrowly escaped a life of slavery. He claimed that pirates had raided his vi uh, village, abducting him and many others to sell on the black market auction block. We dispatched a patrol to confirm the tale and found the village almost completely destroyed. It was a meager settlement without so much as a guardhouse. Thus did its unkind fate escape our notice until now. From the descriptions given to us by the escaped villager, we've determined that these lawbreakers are members of the Jolly Merchants, a pirate crew possession of an official privateering license. Oh, great! So they're doing this and it's 100% legal. Uh, I never was a rogue myself, but I heard they're cool. Yeah, like... Like, I've only really done, like, a handful of quests for them, and... Like, while everyone else is like, Good job! You killed the thing! Like, the rogues guild is like, Hey, we've, like, done a whole bunch of sabotage. We've already, like, gotten to know, um... Like, a bunch of the characters in here. Like, they're just a bunch of goobers at heart. Like, it's kind of light-hearted, but also has, like, its, uh, heavy, uh, moments. <laughs> it's fun. Alright, let's get to work. I'll be going after the Jolly Merchants myself. Underfoot, for Kebe, you two lend your skills to the Maelstrom's investigation and see what you can whittle about the coals what have, uh, what have already been sold. Jaxic, you're coming with me. I think you're ready for the next step of your education. Man, I keep forgetting that Twitch has watch streaks, because Tecto's literally the only one that actually uses the damn thing. It's on a 40 stream streak, god damn. <laughs> you will weep at my 40 inch streak, shut up. I went to the wrong place, didn't I? Where the hell even am I? Oh, I am very much not in the right area. <laughs> All right. Well, how do I get here then? Uh, from, oh, Wolf's Den Pier. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back, all right. Gonna have to go back and fucking walk there. Oh, I can't pay myself back. Okay. Waste my return. Almost lost it to your sneaky stream last night. <laughs> Technically this morning, but you know, yeah, time zones. But yeah, like I couldn't just like leave like a dragon infinite wealth like that. Just end the uh, uh, end the thing like at the final boss and just saying, nah, that's it for me. Like, the stream this morning was literally the only time I could actually, like, fit that in in my schedule. If I didn't uh, do that stream this morning, I would never get to it. And I'm glad I did, though, because uh, Infinite Wealth really does have, like, a really good ending. Oh, granted, the entire game, almost entire, like, the entire way through is just fantastic. Does have, like, a couple of dips here and there. Like, some characters are, like, very clearly just forgotten about. Like, uh, what's his head? <laughs> Like, obviously he's forgotten because I don't even remember his fucking name. But, uh, like, the leader of the Chinese Mafia. You have one fight with him. And then, like, you don't talk to him for a while. Then he dies. Then at the end of the game, it's like, Oh, right, yeah, the bad guys have his kid. Right, we should do something about that. And you say you pick him up after you finish everything, but we don't see it. <laughs> Just all kind of happens off screen. Had a horrible night trying to uh, sleep. Had to watch. Uh, had to watch the FOD volume off, of course. Could only tell uh, much rejoicing uh, took place. What the fuck was that? Uh, we're now an action yakuza game move from uh, Kiryu. Yeah, he gets that halfway through the game. Just for a couple of seconds, he could. Uh, he can just decide to, you know, tell the uh, turn-based uh, RPG system to fuck off and play like a normal yakuza game again. Like obviously, it's. Like, not as cool or flashy as, like, the actual, like, Yakuza action combat. Because, you know, you only get, like, a couple of seconds uh, to use it every now and then. But it's it's still, like, a really cool thing to have. God, I'll get there eventually. God damn. Really wanted me to walk my ass all the way down here, didn't they? Alright, finally here. Jesus. Uh, I got cut off, but the last time uh, that music came on, they, uh... Uh, they shoved me in a human-sized chicken suit and had me collect eggs for murderous ends. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So yeah, shenanigans. <laughs> God, these holiday events sound wild. Boy, how convenient that the, uh, the rogues quest is right next to the main quest. Blast and botheration. The fuck? Oh, whatever. Another delay? I'm well aware of the shortage of skilled artisans, but this is insufferable. God, I hate my outfit. 
I have a blue shirt, green uh, green gloves, and red pants. I look ugly as sin. We may have lost the bulk of our ships that fateful day, but starting with this beauty, we will restore the Maelstrom's fleet to its former glory. The victory is more than a simple warship. It's a symbol of Limsa Lamins' rebirth from the wreckage wrought by the coming of the Seventh Umbral Era. Pants or shoes? Guess I'm getting pants. There were other shoes. There were knee-high shoes. And they're orange. God, my fucking character looks ugly. Where in the seven hells is that man? Not once in 12 moons has he been late with shipment. Now two whole turns of the sun without a single word? A shipwright of mine, a young man named uh, Frillsmid, recently left Candle Keep. Uh, Quay to retrieve several crates of supplies ordered from Limsa Laminsa, but has yet to return. I've sent missives to Hald Broder, but his replies are always the same. He doesn't recall ever seeing the right, nor the supplies he was scheduled to collect. The man knows something, and I severely doubt he is telling me the whole truth. Hunting down jolly merchant slavers? Ah, well that explains a few things. I was keeping an eye on the bustle about the dry docks, you see, when I spied an odd trio off in the distance. This rough-looking lo uh, rough sod, one of your pirates, I'd wager, was prodding along another bloke with his poor skinny lass. I've seen whip curs less miserable than the two being herded. Last I saw, they were headed south. If what you're saying about this slavery business is true, then that jolly merchant's not going to uh, walk his charges all the way to the market. No, he likely has a boat waiting for him. And if I were a slaver heading south, my vessel would be hidden somewhere along the salt strand. That doesn't leave you much time. You said Jack was on his way, yes? You best go on ahead, and I'll point him in the right direction when he gets here. Uh, have you met uh, the Garish uh, Rudigan? Uh, he's very noticeable with his unique style. I'm guessing no. I haven't seen anyone look as garish as I do right now. Sodden move! I told you, my peg leg of grandma hobbles quicker than you miserable sacks of shite. Maybe you need another thrashing. Is that it? You already forgot what happens when you try and be generous patience. I'm sorry. Please, no more beatings. We walked as fast as we could, but we need food. Water. Then get in the boat and shut your traps. you get fed when we reach the other side. Other side? Where are you taking us? You challenging me or just plain daft? I told you to keep your bleeding mouth shut. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to. The faith and scaly ass. She's weeping again. Listen, we're headed to Aleport, alright? I was just there! Not that you care about that. I suppose what matters to you is that you'll be loaded onto the, uh, onto the Jolly Merchman. Uh, Merchantman. There we go. Uh, what the- Oh, that's- <laughs> that That's lighting. That's the sun. I swear on my poor Nana's grave. Navigator rest her soul. I know naught of, uh, this frills mid nor his precious supplies. Hells, we here in, uh, at the Quay have had enough trouble these past few suns. What with the sinking of that Lamington cargo ship off the Salt Strand. Haven't, uh, haven't the time to take a proper piss, let alone uh, make note of every scrag that wanders in off the grip. At least the gloves match the pants. That's something. And now all my, uh, all my jobs have finally caught up with each other. Thank goodness. I, I'm Frills Amid. You say the foreman's wondering on me whereabouts? Thought he might be. But you must know, I cannot show me face at the dry docks until I've righted the terrible wrong I caused. Oh, what did you do? Two nights passed, I made the trip from the dry docks to Candlekeep Quay, just as the foreman asked. The seas were right rough, and the captain of the cargo ship was uh, wary of bringing her to close to the cliffs. So I paid a few coins to a fisher to uh, take me out to meet her. Uh, by the time we was halfway twixt uh, shore and ship, the swells had risen to nigh on ten yams. It wasn't long uh, before the waves had hold of us. Try so we might to steady the boat, nature's grip was too tight. We was flung headlong into the Lamington galley. When I awoke, both ships were gone, and the cargo I was uh, to collect lay strewed across the salt strand. Uh, I's made every effort to salvage it, but the sands are crawling with, uh, Kikirin? I'm assuming that's how that's meant to be pronounced? And I ain't a one with a sword, and now you see why it is I cannot return to the dry docks. Hi, prepare to die. Oh, I fucked up my, uh, okay, I fucked up my, uh, settings. There we go, I think that's what I need. Hold up. 
Yeah, there we go. All right, fixed. Yeah, the hunt logs give uh, good starting XP and you do them uh, when you run around. Yeah. Man, there's like just a lot of really small things that uh, 14 does that I wish World of Warcraft does. Like the hunter's log and like the fate system are absolutely fantastic for early game uh, leveling. I'm missing parts. I, I don't know how I can repay you. I'll deliver the supplies right away. First, I might stop the quay. I uh, stop by the quay, so that I might pay my respects to the widow of the brave fisher who gave his life for a handful of coin. Man, one day I'll get a mount and move, and like general traversal won't feel as sluggish. One day, uh, think of uh, out of all the job quests, everyone loves uh, warrior slash gladiator in Dark Knight. I hear the Dark Knight one is really good. Like when I played before, I skimmed a lot of the um, uh, a lot of the job quests. It's like I would, uh, I wouldn't like fully skip it, I'd just like quick read things. I remember enjoying the, um, the machinist one a bit. You see, there was no storm that day, and the seas here adjacent to dry docks were as calm as the slumbering child. This leads me to believe that the trouble the ships encountered off Candle, uh, Candlekeep Quay was of a less natural sort, sort which the Sahagan have been known to conjure. Jaxic, while I originally had doubts about your motives, you have repeatedly proven yourself an asset to Naldik uh, and Vermelis. I still do not like you. Alright, thanks. But that does not mean I do not trust you. Uh, Gim Thotter, head of the watch here at the Dry Docks, I'm... Man, it is such a shame that so many of these people have the word Thot in their name. Uh, believes that pirates may be plotting an attack on the victory. And she requires assistance investigating a group of unsavory individuals making camp nearby. Uh, Gunbreaker is cool, but the story was kind of meh. Yeah, I remember that story being meh. We are bodyguards. That's kind of it. <laughs> I assume Atbrim informed you of what your task would entail. The pirates we believe are conspiring to raid the dry docks were last seen making camp near an ancient stone called the Mark of the Spinner. I would have you approach the men, posing as a lost adventurer, and see if you uh, cannot somehow learn of their intentions. Kanongo, what a name, uh, stationed at the rear gates, can provide you with an exact location of the camp. Uh, time to be a pro tag and solve every known small issue with the power of friendship and a really large axe. <laughs> yeah. The axe is my favorite part. I'm giving you to the count of nine to step back on that path and carry your venturing ass back down to whatever rock it is you crawled out from under. You see, I set it up to me ears with your type, roaming the ills like there was uh, yours to roam. It's getting to be that uh, that a man canna enjoy a mug of rum uh, without some shite breath under, uh, underlander running up asking which is the way the local leave mate. Seven else if I know, I'm a bloody pirate, gods damn it. Balls, balls. Once we've had me, uh, once we have me boy back, I'm putting this godforsaken piss all of an island so far behind me. Ain't no one will remember I was ever here. Come on, Scrax. Uh, we's knives to sharpen. <laughs> this is my favorite part, and the the feral caveman inside. Man, I gotta do that next time I play like a barbarian in a D&D campaign. Ooh, this is my favorite part, then rage, go nuts. Alright, better daggers. Ba -da, ba -ba -da. All right, time for lame magic. Right, I forgot I look like fucking Tom Bombadil. <laughs> I forgot about that. Also, I love the fact that I'm like fucking around like doing shit here when I know that there are like slavers about to leave somewhere else <laughs> that I need to chase down. Man, being a magic user is so fun. I love standing around. What if I just push him? <laughs> Can I just jump down? Ah, oh, you're no fun. Beach standing around for 40 hours. Have you played an MMO? That's kind of all you do. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. I nearly died. <laughs> that was kind of dumb. It's my favorite part. I push one button and wait uh, for my inevitable demise. Man, imagine being a fucking magic user. How lame. Captain! <laughs> Trouble at the shipyard! Easy now, soldier. Who did this to you? The pirates. Out of nowhere. <coughs> Stuck me good. God's below. We're not prepared for this. The pirate soldier. How many do they number? Not sure. More than I could quickly count. Seems to be carrying explosives. Explosives? There's no time to lose. 
Jackson, you heard the situation. Make your way to the shipyard and engage these intruders. I'll see to this man's wounds, then follow after. Make haste now. Great, I have to do this as an arcanist. <laughs> Trouble with the shipyard, eh? Something is so cool, it's almost worth being a lame-ass magic user. I, I do remember actually enjoying uh, Sumner for a bit. Could not fucking stand Scholar though. Yeah, that and it's not Black Mage, yeah. I specifically remember despising playing Black Mage. See, the, the reason why I couldn't get into Scholar is simply because, like, both Summoner and Scholar have their experience points tied together. So if I, like, level Summoner, I level uh, Scholar at the same time. Therefore, I never had a reason to learn Scholar. So every time I needed to do, like, an actual uh, uh, job quest for it and actually use the damn thing, I was miserably bad at it. Duh, what are you doing, you great bloody fool? Oh, is that your dad? Shut your trap, boy. This will be all over soon. Uh, that's left now is to blow this ugly pile of driftwood into splinters. Why would you do such a thing? Have you any idea how important this ship is? What it represents? Life is pain! I hate- Yes. Aye. And that's what makes it all the sweeter. Whatever it takes to knock some sense into me treacherous backstabbing son. Imagine a boy of mine giving up the pirate life to become a shipwright. And building a bleeding maelstrom vessel at that. What under Limlane's wide green ocean made you take up with these self-righteous shites? You're the one with no bloody sense, duh. Don't you see? The pirates had their glory days, but their era is over. The ship's a symbol, alright, of everything what went wrong in the world. And I mean to shatter it in- uh, and I mean to shatter it into a hundred thousand pieces. Boy, they look like they're having fun. Gimthoda, Jaxic, pray beat the tar out of this bloated sea slug and make sure no harm comes to the victory. <laughs> sure, I'll take him out with this book. Go, power of knowledge! Man, such thrilling combat. Standing here throwing spells at dudes. Man, I love standing around and mashing the one button I have. I'd best get to sorting out the docks. My thoughts could use some sorting out as well. Never did my father have a way of turning my life upside down. Pray convey my thanks. My apologies to Grim Thotto. Alright, first, get me out of this chicken shit outfit. There we go, that's more like it. Got me axe back. By the by, the pirates we defeated have been handed over to the Yellow Jackets. Rainer's men will be taking over the investigation. Before the Yellow Jackets moved in, however, we recovered the most unusual object. Should you have the time to spare, I would ask you another favor. Sure, what is it? Since last we spoke, a curious missive has been discovered amongst the personal effects of uh, Atzap Finn, the pirate behind the plot to uh, sabotage the victory. This missive was uh, penned to the most unusual script, a script we believe to be some uh, manner of code. Needless to say, anything which, proven, uh, which a proven enemy of Limsa Laminsa Deems worthy of Enciphron is like to be of great interest to the Maelstrom. Unfortunately, none among us, chat, don't, uh, can make any sense of the message. In cases such as this, I am told the Yellow Jackets are wont to turn uh, to Batteron and his uh, convenient connections. Thus, I would have you deliver this missive to the proprietor of the Drowning Wench. Oh, great, the guy whose accent fucks over my dyslexia. Great. Hey, <laughs> you did it. You saved the day with murder. I sure did. You want someone to read a message written funny letters for you? Gim thought I thought I might know a man as could? Well, let's see it then. I reckon I might know a canny bugger uh, what can read stuff like this. Ugly son by the name of Batteron. Oh, you can read it. Truth be told, the script was only too bloody familiar. Them Sahagin letters, lad. And I should know. I've gotten more fishback messages than I can count. It gets worse, though. The plan to blow up the victory is all here, right down to the fine details. Looks like they meant to raise eight kinds of L in Western L uh, Lenoskia. Uh, then it, uh, then near the Maelstrom's new flagship in the confusion. Point being, the attack on the victory weren't the act of a few rebellious pirates. It was a key part of some Kenny boss's grand plan. Hey, where the fuck are those two going? The fishbacks ain't interested in Maelstrom's baby. They're after men. Just like they've always been. They're sending the pirate lackeys after a civilian target. This 
Uh, this bit about Razanel and Wesson Lenoskia, that's where it will be. Someone tells me Swift Perch is about to get it, and it are. I'm better on a wish he had uh, more screen time, same as the innkeeper for all da. Uh. <laughs> I, 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 I just wish he had an accent that I could fucking read properly. Take it to Commodore Reyna at the Coral Tower and tell him, uh, tell him he's in for a busy day. An assault on Swift Perch. We've seen nothing to suggest the Serpent Reef is amassing for an attack. I will marshal the Yellow Jackets for battle immediately. The only question is where to send them. Well, I concur with Batteron's assessment uh, that the attack on the Dry Docks was intended as a diversion. Swift Perch is but one of several possible targets for the main thrust. Commodore, sir! Report. It's the Sah- uh, bleh, God. It's the Sahagan, sir. They've mounted a large-scale assault in South Tidegate and threatened to overwhelm our defenses within the day. The garrison requests immediate reinforcements. By the navigator, since my decision has been made for me. Muster the troops and give the order to march. Aye, the Serpent Reavers are in league with the Sahagan, which means there is every chance the assault on Tidegate may yet prove to be another feint. The fact remains, however, that we can uh, ill afford to ignore it. And that leaves Switch, uh, Swift Perch vulnerable to these pirate traders. Is at times such as these that I wish the Warriors of Light yet walked among us? Chat? Don't. Don't. But wishes will avail us not, Lamont. Uh, you must serve in their absence. Make for Swift Perch with all haste and lend your strength to the squads. I can spare for the settlement's defenses. Oh, okay, yeah, it's near Elport, so... We'll get the, uh... Uh, the rogue thing done. One of those times I'm, uh, gonna get it out, uh, before you say don't. <laughs> Mark my words. It won't happen. I'm quick on me, uh, on my feet when it comes to, like, stupid shit like that.